Seventh grade TCAP practice test, question number 65 in the math section. Which value of x makes the equation true? Now, there's a couple ways we can go about doing this. The first one is just to solve the equation uh, using the little system that you've probably been using in class. I've got my own I'm going to talk about. Also, we can use substitution. We'll talk about that, too. But let's just solve this baby first. Uh, the first thing I always do is draw a line down the equal sign. It separates left from right. Now I have what's called parties over in my room. Um, you've got your, your, your party because you're the X here. Um, you have friends and friends of friends. You keep your friends close, and when the party's over, it's time to start kicking people out. So you want to kick out the thing that's furthest away from you, but on the same side of the line. So you're here. That three's right next to you, so that's your buddy. So you don't want to kick him out yet. We need to get rid of this minus two. In order to get rid of minus two, I'm going to add two. So these cancel. Bring down your 3x. 2.5 plus 2 gives you 4.5. Now I'm at the finish it stage. The x and the 3 are touching, which means multiply. In order to get rid of multiply, I need to divide. So divide by 3. And x is equal to 1.5. So the answer choice is C. Now, what happens if you are not very good at solving equations yet and you still want to make a decent score on your TCAPs or more likely you get to the TCAP test and you freak out because you know it's stressful blah 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 and then you don't know what to do you can still solve the equation just remember that math is all about finding truth and our statement says 3x minus 2 equals 2.5 this equal sign is important what it means is if I can find a value for x here and subtract and multiply it times 3 and then subtract 2 it should be equal to 2.5 if it's the answer. So let's try 0 0.7. I'm going to rewrite this statement as 3, and instead of the x, I'm going to put a parentheses, because the parentheses means multiply, and then I'm going to do minus 2. What I'm going to do is start plugging in my answer choice to see if I can get one to equal 2.5, thus making a truth statement. So I'm going to try 0 0.17. So I do 3, parentheses, 0 0.17, close the parentheses, minus 2, and I get negative 1.49. But it's supposed to equal 2.5, so that's not a truth statement with that value in it. Mark that out and get rid of this. Same thing, three parentheses, I try 0 0.9, so I type in three parentheses, 0.9, close the parentheses, minus 2, and it gives me 0 0.7. But my statement, to, in order for my statement to be true, it's supposed to equal 2.5, and 0.7 and 2.5 aren't the same thing, so that's out. So let's try it with our answer choice that we figured out earlier, 1.5. So I'm going to do 3 parentheses 1.5 minus 2, and it equals 2.5. That's a true statement. Now, when I plugged in 1.5 into my equation, I got the 2.5 I wanted. So it proves that C is the correct answer. So if you don't remember how to do it the other way because you're just nervous or whatever, try plugging it in. Sometimes you can get the right answer that way too.